and welcome dear students uh, today i'm here because i wanted to uh, clarify this uh, topic called press which is posterior reversible encephalopathy, encephalopathy syndrome uh, some of you had asked me to take a class on it some of you wanted notes so i have decided on giving you both and uh, it's uh, one of the differential diagnosis which is uh, for preeclampsia and eclampsia and uh, hypertensive disorders of pregnancy since i'm already updating my notes and my complete uh, course is also going to get updated very soon um this is one more important aspect i'd like to touch upon because i have already included in my notes as one of the differential diagnosis but suppose a, a short note is asked on press which it can be uh, very uh, surely so what will you write on pre on press so let me just begin by first of all giving you the full form of press it is posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome i hope you know that with this very fact we know that it's a reversible problem number 1 number 2 it's uh, it's associated with cns features basically that too are mostly involving you know uh, dizziness lethargy lassitude uh, delirium uh, stupor all these uh, features could be there and very important feature is that of sudden blindness okay not haziness but sudden blindness so when this feature comes in any patient you know the anxiety level of the relatives and of the patient is at a different level so to tell them that it was uh, because of this particular reason and it will get reversed reversed in a in couple of days is very very gratifying so very important you know uh, aspect of press is to know that actually it is press otherwise mostly just imagine if a patient with high blood pressure with all these uh, cns features comes to you your first differential diagnosis is going to be that of eclampsia or severe preeclampsia impending eclampsia right but if the patient also suddenly now you've admitted the patient now she complains of blindness i cannot see anything that time to you know kind of uh, counsel the patient to give you to give them an answer it's going to be very difficult for you so what you have to do is immediately jump on to the conclusion as soon as possible that whether it is press or it is not it is deteriorating eclampsia or it is some other reason anyways uh, i'll now take you step by step to understand a mo little more about press so first of all what is press you know why press happens why is you know what is the pathophysiology of press like i say for all diseases if you know the pathophysiology you can construct the signs and symptoms the clinical features the diagnosis and everything uh, you know across it but if you do not know the pathophysiology things become difficult so let's talk about the pathophysiology of press so it happens to be one of the you know vasogenic disease basically there is something to definitely to do with high bp because in case of high bp there is going to be vascular occlusion okay even the the brain vessels they start to get more and more constricted so as a result of which because of this vascular uh, you know um, uh, vaso occlusion or constriction of the blood vessels there is local anoxia which leads to cerebral edema and these are the lesions which are shown as hyper intense lesions on mri because mri is the uh, diagnostic modality of choice when you're talking about pregnant females and of course immediately if, if, uh, after delivery suppose the symptoms continue to take place then in that case you will go in for or if they deteriorate after delivery which happens in case of even cases with eclampsia and preeclampsia uh, uh, then in that case you can go for ct ct scan as well so pathophysiology similarly happens it is almost the same like that it was in preeclampsia so it's basically is most or mostly that of cerebral edema and of course the lesions taking place clinical features clinical signs and symptoms which would include sudden severe headache dizziness uh, lethargy delirium and uh, uh, confusion that of blindness as well then you talk about very severely high severe high bp which is the signs amongst the lab parameters many things or nothing can be deranged there have been cases reported where all parameters were uh, haywire including your sgot sgpt that is ldh and uh, you know ast ldh is usually seen elevated bp is definitely elevated a platelet count not so much included in the um, you know in the text but there are certain cases reported it's a rare syndrome first of all so not much uh you know uh, conclusions have been drawn uh, because there were not so many cases reported that we get to some confusion and there is a lot of confusion still regarding this uh, the syndrome but 
as far as this the case reports that we have you know secluded case reports that we have we just know that uh, you know there are certain things which can be common like ldh mostly is seen elevated there were reports in which nothing was deranged cbc was fine platelets were fine sgot sgpt was fine patient was fine up till now and suddenly there was you know shooting high bp and uh, patient deteriorated immediately after that so she was immediately delivered and after delivery her ct scan was done because she was continuously having those same symptoms and then it was seen that posteriorly in the posterior part of the brain and the gray matter there were certain hyper intense lesions there's a term called flare fluid attenuated intensity which uh, was at a different level and which was showing diagnostic features of press so uh, that were the lab markers then of course the diagnosis comes through ct scan or brain uh, uh, mri which i've been speaking up till now there will be lesions in the brain now comes the treatment so treatment is a good old treatment stabilize the patient immediately with 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 liberal amount of antihypertensives give a loading dose of mexalf continuation dose of mexalf and take the patient up for delivery once you deliver the patient offending factor is gone and the patient will start to recover soon after but under strict vigilance for cardiac for uh, sorry urine output for deteriorating signs and symptoms for blood pressure monitoring and very very important it is for a patient who suddenly come to you with spiked blood pressure with all these kind of symptoms first of all the offending reason for such high bp sudden high bp should be ruled out it should not be a kidney toxicity kidney injury or kidney problem and it should not be a pheochromocytoma which can lead to sudden spikes in high bp <clears throat> then of course you can go in for a quest of understanding why this blood pressure was so high in the first place in a patient who was maybe asymptomatic before or in a patient who was already having high bp and suddenly the situation deteriorates so in all these cases you mostly eclampsia minded by now but now what i mean to say is that you should also be press minded but this syndrome is far less as compared to eclampsia and the diagnosis can be made through you know mri and ct scan imaging modalities basically so with this background in mind let me just give you a brief tour of what i've written on the board so that the things get embossed in your mind you remember it at the last point in time and when your examiner is asking you questions at least this table flashes in front of your eyes so you are able to manage things so how and why are these things how will you differentiate preeclampsia from eclampsia from press so there are certain parameters that i've written down over here like for example high bp you'll find in all the conditions blood pressure very high elevated blood pressure you will find in all these conditions what about visual symptoms visual symptoms not not found in preeclampsia mostly but when it comes to eclampsia you have that blurring of vision don't you remember you ask is as one of the you know features of impending eclampsia and he hazeness or blurring of vision and in case of press also you will find more severe features of uh, eclampsia you'll find in press so you can to a certain extent it's easy to say that maybe it's a severe form of eclampsia one step more cns symptoms let's come to the cns symptoms cns symptoms you won't find so much in preeclampsia but you will start seeing in eclampsia because patients with confusion mental confusion delirium not responding to verbal commands or responding them with you know um, with difficulty reflexes are uh, you know poor in that case you will find uh, in in eclampsia you will find cns symptoms and so you find in press both of them are running parallel do you see that biochemistry deranged you will always find in eclampsia because it's one of the more severe forms of preeclampsia but sometimes press it eludes all these things even uh, eclampsia actually mostly because eclampsia is so thoroughly studied there are so many case cases reported we know more about eclampsia so mostly we have seen the biochemistry deranged but press you know if i have read five reports you know three of them had no derangement in uh, biochemistry ldh has been raised so ldh you know is very very vague to say seizures you will see in eclampsia and you will see in prex as well you won't see in preeclampsia but this part you know ct scan mri lesions very specific lesions that you you know uh, understand more as a radiologist than as a gynecologist but they are mostly seen in press so this is basically the more diagnostic you know uh, test to understand that this was a press uh, modality which the patient is affected by good thing is that it is reversible so it's easy to counsel provided that you are sure that it is press and there is no other cause of sudden blindness in the patient which is most intriguing and the most dangerous uh, aspect
of this syndrome. So uh, I hope my lecture has brought to you some understanding on this uh, topic of press. It will be followed up quick, uh, you know, uh, pretty swiftly with my notes as well. And uh, I'll update them both in the major topics or, or major obstetric topics and my complete course. Uh, it will be uploaded on and I've made a separate, uh, uh, you know, channel, a telegram channel for you people to ask your queries who are exam going or otherwise also uh, for uh, a discussion on anything that you find uh, important or you want any class to be taken, any things to be clarified. Of course, you're reaching me separately on WhatsApp, but still, uh, you know, on Telegram, I'd like to hear from you. So, uh, you know, a lot of you wanted a, a single platform in which, you know, these things can be told to you uh, on and off again. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so just stay tuned and uh, let me know whatever you uh, want as a class or a confusion you have to just clarify that. So thank you so much. Keep watching.